there was a couple days there um, where we wondered if if we were gonna if we were gonna come out of it, <laughs> if it was uh, if it was if there was any end in sight, or if it was just uh, gonna continue to be complete and utter chaos. So again, the the ability to stay calm and make good decisions when when that was going on. Pretty cool to see and cool to be part of. I don't think anybody really quite understood the, the extent of what we were in for. It rained all night and the event started to happen and again, I believe it was, a, it was a Sunday night. So um, by the time we had finished even the first iteration of um, kind of mapping out the, the slides that had happened, um, we already had five, six, seven, ten more just in our area alone, we had uh, every major highway and roadway closed at one point. There's just a hole where the bridge used to be and multiple other bridges that were at risk. One of the first things that I did uh, when I saw the news was check in on my customers in the Hope area and surrounding uh, communities to make sure that they were okay and that you know their families and coworkers were all safe. And from there, we figured out what they needed for inventory. Finning is a, a, a very important part of our process, an important partner, and, and they respond very quickly, and, and they did exactly that. When we needed equipment, when we needed support, they were there every step of the way. The relationship between Emil Anderson and, and Finning has been 85 years strong. The way that we were able to to partner and, and find solutions um, in the most chaotic of times really speaks to the longevity of that relationship and, and I think it continues to be strengthened uh, every day. The immediate reaction is, wow, that's an incredible amount of damage. How are we going to possibly get these highways open? Our industry and our, our uh, partners in design, in material supply, equipment supply, came together very quickly and everybody contributed in some fashion. The Amel Anderson Group owes a debt of gratitude to all of our suppliers, including Finning, for the tireless work that they, they did uh, to help us during these events that we couldn't have done it without them. There is still a lot of work to be done and we're still sending a lot of gear out that way. Um, and we probably will be for months to come, but um, progress is being made and we're happy to be a part of it.